My name is Michelle C. Smith and I am an intern here at Conservation Services in the Libraries and I am a graduate student at Buffalo State College and I'm here continuing my master's degree in art conservation. Um, so this uh, manuscript came um, to Stanford so it could be imaged at Slack and first it had to come here to be disbound so that it could uh, the leaves could be removed from the book so that they could be prepared for, for scanning. And um, I was able to assist with that, which was very exciting. I'd never worked on anything this old before. Um, this is a really great project for an internship. And the book came here and was disbound by David Brock. And so the palimpsest text goes this way. It's perpendicular to the visible text. So that's what you see down and It's in here. two columns, one here and one here. The reason this has to be disbound in order to see the, the palimpsest properly is these two columns of text, they continue into the gutter and around a fold. Um, and so the rest of this piece of parchment is a couple pages back. These are folded around each other. And so to image this whole piece and all that text together, you have to take it apart. David um, disbound the book by clipping the threads and, and taking out the, the choirs, the folded pieces of parchment. Some of the leaves I needed to humidify um, so that they could be opened up because the folds were really tight. But before that, I, I spent a lot of time looking at each leaf, um, recording any damage that I saw, um, photographing the leaves, and just making sure we had a, a good record of the condition it was in when it arrived. Um, then I, I mounted them. I made um, custom-made mounts for each leaf that was being scanned and um, put them in boxes and, and took them to Slack. And then I uh, trained all the, the scientists who would be handling the leaves so, so that they would know how to handle them safely and prevent any damage. Uh, I started out in studio art, um, doing printmaking and bookbinding, and um, was looking for you know something I could do where I, I would be able to use my hands a lot. And I always had an interest in, in science, um, and so it was exciting to spend more time studying chemistry and, and learn about how things are made. But I really love working in libraries. I've always loved reading, and so I like the idea that I get to help people read more books because I fix the ones that are broken. So that's really rewarding to me.